got um, Andrew Bermudez and uh, Rex Webb here with me, um, um, Dexter boys soccer coaches. Um, you know, first Andrew, uh, just you know, kind of start with how good it is to be be out here practicing, getting ready for a season after after not having one last year. Yeah, it's a real fantastic feeling to be back out here uh, on the field and the sideline again, being the coach um, and train the guys back up. Uh, just that in itself brings positive energy um, after having just a COVID year, which is strange. And then not having a, a team, it just was very deflating um, and just and discouraging. But then to see this number of guys come out and just be real positive and just have a real a good good energy um, and want to be out here is, is just a, a fantastic feeling for me and it's it makes it easier to coach that's for sure yeah you know and uh, uh rex maybe what what is uh you know kind of the the mood especially the um you know the seniors being out here again but very uh, upbeat with the guys you know for the most part i mean as coach bermudas had mentioned you know i i think just general consensus across the board especially amongst the boys is just such a great feeling to have a chance to be out here uh, the seniors certainly want to be able to make some sort of a statement, even though we only have a few. Mm. Uh, but they do want to uh, kind of go out with a bang, uh, you know, like so to speak. So, uh, you know, they're hungry for it. Uh, they're showing a lot of potential at this point right now for uh, team leadership being our extension out on the field. And, uh, you know, things have just been very, very positive, uh, despite having the uh, year off last year. Um, Andrew, can you maybe talk about, uh, you know, the three seniors that you have? Yeah, um, we have Pace, it's his first year playing um, varsity uh, high school soccer, but he, he's a very talented athlete, so he comes with uh, skill already, and so that, that's, that's real, real positive. And he also comes with leadership also. Uh, Trevor and, and Brady have been part of the program since their freshman year. Um, they've experienced everything, from the highs and lows, and um, they have just been really positive kids this whole whole thing. Uh, they stayed involved in other sports, and we didn't have um, we didn't have any um, soccer last year, and then this year they're still dual sporting. So they are active kids. Um, they're athletic, and they each give all that they can give. Um, that's all we we can ask, and that in itself, I think, is a real good positive leadership for any underclassman watching them. Um, you know, Rack, so, I mean, obviously, um, you know, with only three seniors, the under, um, it's going to be important how the underclassmen step up. Um, kind of what's been the feeling of, um, I think you said six, right, six freshmen, um, the feeling of those uh, six six freshmen? The, uh, the freshmen are coming in a very unique situation themselves, <laughs> uh, you know, from coming up from middle school and now you have that proverbial uh, big fish in the small pond to the small fish in the big pond now. But their eyes are open, uh, you know, they're learning as we go. Uh, as I'd mentioned before, we had uh, a match, uh, you know, yesterday at Mount View, and uh, one of those freshmen found himself in goal uh, for the entire game. And uh, as I had told Coach, uh, he pretty much received baptism by fire uh, mm -hmm. in, in yesterday's match. But, I mean, he stepped up, you know, pretty good. He was intimidated. Uh, you know, the others that, uh, you know, that we happen to have out there, one of them just joined us today. But, um, you know, they are... Uh, they're not falling short by any means at all you know they're going through all the motions uh and doing all the correct things that the uh, the older boys are doing and uh we're hoping for continuity you know and even though we are going to be losing uh three this year hopefully we can replace that with three that might be coming in next year and yeah. just try to keep this thing going yeah so this is kind of a tough question because you weren't you weren't playing last year but yeah. maybe what are your expectations um just as a whole as a team and maybe expectations um not record wise but how you see the season going yeah um well from this standpoint here it's it's it is kind of hard to judge but um we are going we are improving each each practice um we are we are seeing improvement and uh because we are kind of new uh it was the first time we played together the team was yesterday uh i i do see us improving and as the season goes on i see us being more and more competitive and uh just maybe shocking some people like oh wow these these guys are better than than, than we thought um because i'm not seeing a lot of i'm not seeing any guys being discouraged by what they see i see them just pushing harder each day then they're, they're they're making sure they, they can make adjustments some of them are asking questions some of the freshmen are saying hey coach i don't understand it what's what's going on why are we doing this 
and I, I like that stuff because I know they're they have a thirst to, to learn and once they learn then they could apply that in the field and then we're gonna see those improvements as the season moves on so I'm, I'm encouraged and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna be solid this year any final thoughts for yeah I'd just like to kind of piggyback that just a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, I'll tell you I love where we're at position wise because uh, obviously, and everybody knows, uh, we went a year last year without having a program. Mm -hmm. uh, the year before that, we hadn't won a game. Uh, the year prior to that, we won one game uh, as a program. So for the guys that are seniors on this especially, uh, they're coming in with one win in the three years that they have to show for it. And uh, we have nothing to lose. You know, to anybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have an opportunity to just go out there, just leave it out on the field and just play it. What happens, happens. The guys have a really good attitude about that. But the uh, the other factor is, is you got to look at some of these other programs that might be down a little bit. And are they going to want to lose to us? <laughs> you know, in that kind of a situation. So, I mean, it's, it's just the pressure kind of a thing that might be out there for some of our opponents. And uh, if they anybody looks past us, you know, they could be surprised. I mean, we could very well, we, we possibly could lose every game. Mm. Uh, we could go 500. Uh, mm. You know, whatever happens, happens. But the kids are going to, they're the ones that will determine that. Not sense. us. Yeah. Makes sense. Anything else, Andrew? Yeah, no, that's that's good. Okay. That well. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Good luck this year. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Got Tr uh, Travis Speed, Payson Reinhardt, and uh, Brady Reynolds here with me as we're previewing the um, Dexter Boys uh, Soccer 2022 uh, season. Um, first, uh, Trevor, uh, just start with um, you know no no season last year. Um, you know how good is it to be out here even practicing? Uh, it's really good just to be out here practicing since we didn't have a season last season. So, mm -hmm. um, uh, Payson, kind of. What did you do last year, um, you know, in, instead of instead of soccer? So soccer, I ran cross country last year. Just lack of numbers, and I'd always run cross country. But now we're back. Yeah. Um, you know, Brady. Um, you know how you know you're out here. You you guys are three three seniors. Um, you know, you consider you you guys it's important for you guys to provide leadership for this young team. Oh uh, yeah, we have a very young group, and not many of them actually stepped on a high school soccer field and actually played in game. And us having our first game yesterday it was definitely like a learning curve for everybody. And to get on the field and get a little more experience, I think will be pretty good. Yeah, and and Payson, so that you know, um, yesterday, you know, obviously that's a, that's a tough team, but this is is preseason. You're you're out here to get to improve and get get better. So um, that that's the most important thing now. Um, what can you maybe take out of that, especially for the younger kids, as Brady said, that haven't stepped on a high school field? You know, they're just gonna learn from their mistakes. You know, and keep trying to get better every day, and that's all they can do really. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Trevor. You know, obviously, you didn't, you know, have the season last year. But what what are you kind of, you know, expectations um, for for the squad? Uh, I think we'll do pretty good this season because, like, I think a lot of teams are gonna underestimate our team since we didn't have a season. But I feel like we have a pretty good squad, and we could take some wins and maybe make the playoffs. And um, you you know, um, as you as you guys said, you know, these guys haven't stepped on a field. Um, you know. Do you think they look at you as uh, as leaders? Uh, oh, certainly, yeah. for sure. Yeah. They look up to us, and we got to lead by example and help them along to help better the team. Yeah. Brady, yeah. maybe um, some different different ways that you guys are, are leading by example. Uh, we just we kind of just help people out if they have questions. We answer them as the best we could. We give people like encouragement, and like if we see a flaw in them, we try to better them by telling them in the nicest way possible what to do differently. <laughs> Hey, what's the what's the um, attitude? Because I mean, I mean, these eighth graders knew. I mean, they're freshmen now, but they they knew you guys didn't have a season last year, so they probably didn't know kind of if if you guys were gonna have one one this year. What's the what's the attitude as a whole? The attitude as a whole, basically, just keep trying to get better. You know, that's all we can do. You know, we're young, we're inexperienced, and so we just try to get better. Yeah, and um, you know, same same thing. What what do you see as a you know the attitude of this whole group? Uh, I feel like the whole group's just happy to be out here in general and. We're just going to look forward to this season and do what we can. All right. Any final comments from any of you? Yeah.
Yeah, that's it. All right, well, thank you guys and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.